What's going on, man? It's your boy, Chef Boudreaux. Today, I'm going to be coming at you. This is going to be vegan friendly. Vegan friendly. I promise you it is. Today, I'm going to be making some ratatouille. Today, I got, come on, check my ingredients out, man. I got, I got some eggplant over here. I got some onions. I got some garlic. I got some tomatoes that we're going to blanch in this hot water right here. And then we're gonna take them out, put them in this hot water, uh, this cold water bath right there to shock it, stop them cooking. I got some roasted bell peppers I just took off, yellow and red, so I'm gonna cover them up so they can get soft and then you peel all that all that char off and then we're gonna make the sauce that's gonna go up in here along with the uh, the sauce is gonna make be made with the roasted uh, roasted bell peppers, a little bit of the uh, squash and, and the zucchini, some bell pepper, some garlic, some onions. I'm going to saute all that and we'll put it in this blender, make a little sauce to go on the bottom, and then we're going to build this ratatouille, man. I just mandolin some zucchini and some squash. So once I do that, I'm going to do these eggplants so they don't start turning brown. And then we're going to build this bad boy up, and we're going to plate it up, man. We're going to make it look nice, just like the movie Ratatouille, all right? Let's go ahead and... Mandolin these uh, eggplant right here, make them look nice. All right, I'm try to wash my fingers, y'all. All right, I'll do another one over here real quick. If you don't have one of these, I'm gonna show you how you can make this still without having to do it this way. Okay. In a quick second. All right. All right, bet. So, we'll use a little bit of this. Now, we're going to do what we call an oblique cut. So, you cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn. Okay? You do that uh, just off the top. Even when you're making your sauce. Just gonna be made with basically the same ingredients, for the exception of the uh, bell peppers. So we got that nice and hot. My pan, a black pan over that nice and hot. We gonna saute all these vegetables: onions, garlic, bell pepper, all of it. All right, chop this up real quick. Turn this down. And this is about a medium onion. Medium onion. All right, here we go. All this. Give me the tomatoes, father. Do all this right, you. Oh, I got a little break seed off. I'm putting that. All we're going to do is toast this up. Cook this until it gets a little mushy. Soft, soft, soft. This is what we want to do. Cook this up soft. Alright. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and blanch these tomatoes real quick. All you wanna do is just pierce the skin a little bit. That's all you wanna do, all the way around. And we're gonna blanch it for about 45 seconds to a minute, maybe. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in. 45 seconds to a minute. I put some salt in the water to kind of keep your uh, tomatoes on. Then we're going to throw them right in this bag right here. And we're going to throw this garlic in. I like garlic. Y'all know that. Y'all know I like garlic. We're going to put this inside. All this inside. This is gonna be my parsley oil garnish right here at the end. I just took some oil, some chives, and uh, some Italian parsley, chives, and oil. That's it. You don't need no salt or nothing in it, because you're gonna actually come back put the salt into this right here, but we ain't gonna salt it just yet. And turn this up, get this going. All right, it's time for this to come out. All right, let's take this off. Let's put this on the side. Let's put I'm gonna put this over here. Let this cool up. Let's sit right there. And as you can see, all you gotta do is remove the skin. But it's gonna come off a little better than that. And all you got to do is remove the skin, so we're going to let that sit in there for a while. Stop the cooking process. Alright. Give me a little room over here. It's like pulling the bad boy out. There we go. First time I ever used this thing. <laughs> Everybody just got my Skilly cleaned out. I put everything up in here, everything including the roasted bell peppers that I had in this foil over here. So I got about a quarter cup of olive oil and a um, a uh, uh, half a tablespoon of kosher salt. So I already put the oil in already. So we're gonna cut this on. We're gonna turn this on real quick. I know I say cut. <laughs> I'll put this on real quick. All right, man. So we put the puree pressed up. I finished the mixture of the puree, so we're gonna put just a little bit to line the bottom of this pan, okay? And we're gonna reserve, we're gonna reserve uh, more of this for uh, for uh, for garnish. So we're gonna spread that out like that. Like I said. If you don't have a mandolin, you can always do the oblique cuts. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you all how to do this real quick, and then we're going to go around in a circle, around in a circle, around in a circle until it stops. Then we're going to cover it with some parchment paper. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you what I got. I got some parchment paper right here. So all I'm going to do is take this parchment paper, paper cover it over. Once I make these rounds with the zucchini, tomato, and uh, eggplant, in the squash, we're going to go around in a circle like that. All the way around in a circle. Then we're going to cover it with some parchment paper. We're going to throw it in at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right? This is how it came out. Once I got finished loading everything up, I'm about to put this bad boy in the oven at 350. I'm going to cover up with this parchment paper I got right here. All right? I'm going to hit it with a little, hit a little salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's it. All right, put the parchment paper on. And we're going to let this cover some kind of way. It's supposed to work. But let's see, all right? Put this parchment paper on. See what we got. That goes the ladder to it right there. All right. 
right, it's time to plate this bad boy up and start playing. I got some of this leftover sauce puree that I made. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. I'm going to pick this up. And we're going to put this right in here, right there. Whoa! Boy, it is hot. Just gonna use this little mold. Ouch, 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 ouch. Alright, so I'm gonna build this mold just like this. We're gonna flip this bad boy over his hot. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, this is hot. Let's see if it works, people. All right. Now we're gonna take this a little bit. Take this off like this. Boy, this is super hot. Clean up a little bit. We're gonna dress this up real quick, people. Got a little bit of that dripping sauce on there. Oh, it's such a hot boy. Steam coming from this bad boy. All right. Now we're gonna take a little bit of this sauce. Go around. I'm a, I'm a little messy, but that's okay. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of this parsley oil I got. All right. Clean your plate just a tad bit. All right. All right, people. And there you have it. That's your ratatouille right here. Chef Boudreaux. I'm a little tired. That's okay. Bam. A little bit of pause still on that. All right. All right, baby. This is Chef Boudreaux, man. Appreciate y'all. Ratatouille. It is what it is. It's going down, man. You know your boy. You know your boy.